Okay, next I'd like to talk about Bayes' theorem because we're going to be using Bayes' theorem when we discuss decision analysis later on. This is the classic example from most introductory stat textbooks. Let's say that we've got two urns, urn one and urn two. And these two urns look exactly alike. And inside of urn one, we've got two red tokens and one green token. Inside urn two, we've got one red token and two green tokens. But otherwise, they look exactly alike, and from the outside, we can't see the tokens. So what we do is we first select an urn randomly. What's the probability that we've got urn 1 if we've selected them randomly? Well, that's, we've got two possibilities. Uh, so the probability is 50% that we're, we've got urn 1. But now, if we take out a token and look at it, and it's red, what's the probability that we've got urn 1 now? So we're asking the question, what's the probability of urn 1 given red? This is a conditional probability. Probability of urn 1 given red. Well, this is why we need to use Bayes' theorem. Okay. Let's figure this out a couple of different ways. First way, let's use a tree diagram. First we said, go ahead and select an urn and we said the probability that you've got earned 1 is 50%, the probability that you've got earned 2 is 50%. Next on the tree, we'll put our conditional probabilities. The probability of red given earn 1, well, there's two reds in earn 1, so it's 2 thirds. There's one green in earn 1, so the probability, the conditional probability, green given earn 1 is 1 third. Likewise down here, red given earn 2 is one third. There was one red one in there, so the probability was one third. And green given earn two, there were two green ones out of three in earn two, so the conditional probability to keep green given earn two is two thirds. So this probability is the probability red given earn one. But what we wanted in the question was what's the probability of earn one given red? So the information that we got is exactly opposite of what we need to answer the question. That's why you've got to use base theorem. Okay, so we said we took out a red one. So we're either sitting on this branch here or on this branch here. We could still be in urn one or urn two, but it's more likely that we're in urn one, isn't it? Because two out of the three red ones are in urn one, and one out of the three red ones is, is in urn two. So it's more likely we're up here. So what we do first is calculate the joint probabilities by multiplying across this tree diagram. So you take 0.5 times 2 thirds to get 1 third, 0.5 times one-third to get one-sixth. Those are called joint probabilities. So one-third is the probability of urn one and red. One-sixth is the probability of urn two and red. Notice that you put an and between a joint probability as opposed to a conditional probability. You say given. So the next step, we know we're either here or here. We add these two together. One-third plus one-sixth is one-half. And that's where we've got a red pie down here. The probability of red is one half. But one third of that one half space, okay, is earned one. And one sixth of that one half space is earned two. So this space here is twice as big as that space there. So now we apply base theorem one third over one half one-third over this whole area is one-half. This gives us the probability of two-thirds. So that answers the question. The probability of burn one given red is two-thirds. There's another way to figure that out. You could use the formula for Bayes' theorem. Probability of A given B, burn one, given red is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A times over the same thing here plus the probability of B given not A times P times not A. Where not A then is earned 2. Okay, so it's 2 thirds times 1 half which was red given Earn one was two thirds times the probability of earn one, which was one half, 
and then this part of the equation is the same as down here, plus probability of Ren given Ren 2 was one third, sorry I've got that switched around, one third plus the probability times the probability of Ern 2, which is one half. So that's this part and that's this part here. Sorry about that. So two six over three six is, is two thirds. Alright, the formula's fine, but it looks a little messy, doesn't it? The way I like to do it, I like the tree diagram, that works nicely. But this is the way we're we're going to do it on a spreadsheet. You can set this up very easily on a spreadsheet. We're talking about the red indicator because we pulled out a red one. The state, the original states were, were either in urn 1 or, or in urn 2. Then you've got your prior probabilities. That's the probabilities that we thought of, you know, originally. That we were in urn 1 was 50%, urn 2 was 50%. Then you put your conditional probabilities down. Now your conditionals are red given urn 1, which is 2 thirds, and red given urn 2, which was 1 third. Those are your conditional probabilities on the second branch of that tree. Then what you do is you multiply across to get your joint probabilities. And remember with the joint probabilities we said there's an and between there. With the conditionals it's a given in between. So this probability here, 1 third, probability of earn 1 and red. And this probability here is earn 2 and red. So when you add them together, 1 third plus 1 sixth to get 1 half, how does that sound? Earn 1 and red, earn 2 and red, gives us 0.5, which is the probability of red. Then your final step is to divide. 1 third divided by 0.5 to get 2 thirds. That's the one we just calculated. That's the probability of earn 1 given red. 1 6 divided by 1 half is 1 third. That's the probability then of earn 2 given red. Of course, when you add these together, they've got a sum to 1. That's it. I know I went through this a little quickly. You might want to view this again and pause at times. And don't forget to ask questions uh, over WebCT as well.